Hey there, Jorio here, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Today taking flights out of Nuremberg Airport. This is a upcoming Aerosoft release, which comes out in a couple of days. Uh, flying from Nuremberg into Frankfurt, flying the Aerosoft CRJ900 in Lufthansa Citizen Colours. Very excited for this one. Um, so we've got about 20 or so minutes, 30 minutes or so minutes to the picture. chart. Gives us plenty of time to set the aircraft up and actually go through the airport itself, because the actual design behind it looks really, really good. So that's by... Captain 7, 27 Palms, and Lion Sim. It completely rebuilds the airports <laughs> well beyond its um, default capabilities. And honestly, one of the nicest looking airports I think we're going to get for the uh, third party side of things in a long, long time. I mean, the level detail in this is absolutely fantastic. Right down to the uh, animated passengers in the terminal, kind of walking around doing their own thing. It's really, 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 really good. So I'd say, very, very excited for this one. We'll start setting the aircraft up per itself for departure. And then start getting things ready to get going. As always, we are flying on the eye about, and there's going to be some good ATC on the uh, flight today, so I hope you'll get contacts to ground how what they try and get there. Hopefully, my HCRJ works. It hasn't been a little while since I was for the aircraft, so I'm going to patch master and the AC. Going to slightly some lights, lug lights, not required. Strobe lights, no. Beacon lights, no. Nav lights, yes. Hydraulics, auto, on, auto, auto. Uh, sets the emergency lights to armed. Head down to the lower pedestal. And switch both of the nav switches to. So our switches to nav. Jump to the FMS, go to our position utilization. Plug in our departure, echo delta delta november. We're going to copy that for the coordinates, paste into the RS position. Again, technically you should be using the uh, position there, but hey ho. Uh, Gates, we'll grab our stand number from Navigraph. Like I say, the level detail airport has included is honestly second to none. So I wanted to take off up. Fortunately, said Jay, it's quite an easy aircraft to get going, so I've plenty of time to just look around the terminal for our scheduled departure in about half an hour. Um yeah, it should hopefully just look really, really good for us indeed. So Nuremberg charts stand we are currently at uh, 15. So that's cool. just that, so yeah, I'll leave it at that. Right, uh, next page, next page, that's fine. Head over to the flight plan, parting Echo Delta Delta November, and flying to Echo Delta Delta Fox Trots again. Only a short little flight today, 45 minutes or so. Probably extend a little bit due to the traffic and ATC availability. So okay, we're at ground right now, got tower. Fly straight into, um, I think this is Gothenburg Centre, if it loads up. If not, jump check. In Frankfurt, you've got everything from grounds, tower, approach, sensor. We've got the whole lot at Frankfurt today, so I should get some really good communication on our trip today. So a couple of departures. We just missed the um, Swiss aircraft taking off, but we just got the Euro ones just passing behind it. Um, yes, so, right, there's the background. Let's get the aircraft going, shall we? Starting with our flight plan. Going to... In fact, before we even do that, let's get a pack X on the passengers. So, Nuremberg to Frankfurt, 1515 15 Tanza, 24,000 feet cruising altitude. Flight time, 45 minutes. Scheduled takeoff in 27 minutes. Flying CRJ 900 with a passenger count of. The flight plan. Again, I'm using a first class layout which is more American than European, but passenger count is 80. So, we can use exactly 80 passengers on board our flight today. A few empty seats, but for the most part, looking full. Uh, also to check there's no Wi-Fi and no iFuels in the aircraft. We don't have one music, we have got Lufthansa safety briefing we'll be using. Do you get snacks? No, do you get milk? I don't know, probably get like a free packet of crisps when you put the aircraft stuff like that. Uh, don't get meal service, customs card not required, domestic flight, and the passengers can now start the boarding. Uh, flight time's about 45 minutes today, so like I say, not a very long trip ahead of us, only 45 minutes of flying. Back down to the flight plan, I'm going to start off with the uh, routing. Uh, pack X for passengers to buy us, Pack X. Uh, starting off with Ibargo. Ibargo. From there we then fly the Zulu 104 to Spessa. And that's our flight pack complete. That's it, entirely. So insert that. The RS is aligned actually, so we'll check our flight plan straight away. 
Back to the tablet. Make sure that we get the weights and formants all calculated because, as you guys know, the airplane really is a bit of a. Well, if you don't do it from the tablet, it will force you to uh, crash. So, do it correctly. Payload 8.3. So, if I go 8 through divided by 3, the Ford cargo is going to hold 276. And the rear, 554. And then fuel count required. Fuel on board is going to be, uh, sorry, it's lung and radar, not gothenburg radar, lung and radar. Um, pass, no, fuel. Fuel requirement today is 3759, we'll call it 3800. Enter that. Set pad and just because, again, make sure that's all confirmed. So, while we're then take off and actually landing limit straight away, we work with the formal status at mess just yet, flaps 8 position, dry runway, that's looking good, we'll copy that over as soon as we are ready to get going. We're going to head over to our flight plan, go to performance again, cruising altitude 20, 24,000, yes 24,000. Uh, fuel, we said 8, sorry, 3,800. Please the rest is fine. Yeah, we'll copy it into the office in now. So copy performance into the FMS. And actually, performance is quite nice for us. So 80 passengers, 84 kilos on average, 83 80 kilos in total. That's looking good. Um, can do wind data. So cruise winds will be 161 at 19. Also, be sure that the aisle is clear and sit down so that way other passengers can get by you. Uh, transit altitude is going to be to the flight plan. I believe it's five thousand. Uh, yes, five thousand transit altitude. Let's get that. So now we should have altitudes on our FMS. Listen to the ATS, contact the ground, and request our clearance to um, Frankfurt. Wind zero six zero at nine knots. Variable zero three zero to zero nine zero. Altimeter one zero three two. Temperature five degrees Celsius. Visibility one zero kilometers. Dew point minus six degrees Celsius. Wind one, zero three two. Quite a quite a scroll there. Nine knots. Variable so that from us is information Lima in use. Information Lima. We'll greet the passengers and then we will finish this aircraft setup. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Board Lufthansa flight 1515 from Nuremberg to Frankfurt. Plus and say 45 minutes, nice short little flight feed today. We are just finishing off the aircraft setup and should hopefully be airborne in approximately 20 or so minutes. We thank you for choosing the time as this line. We hope you enjoy flight on board today. Now, clear skies throughout our journey and should arrive hopefully from this to spare as well. Give a like to see airborne, otherwise, sit back, relax, and enjoy your flight. Thank you very much. We ask that you make sure that all devices are in airplane mode and your larger devices are now shut down and stowed. If you have not already, please fasten your seatbelt and verify it is low and tight across your lap. Your tray tables and seatbacks must be in the full. Ah, fine clouds. What can I say? Welcome channel on the chat. Hope you're doing alright, dude. So, flying from your local to your local today. Alright, so the passengers are boarded, so we can get rid of the ground setup, so that can close. Uh, make sure that seatbelt signs are active, so there's no smoking. Going to just a on that. Fuel pumps on, no good fuel in the aircraft, and APU we can start. So I can wait for the SOV to open. And APU start. So hopefully you remember how this aircraft works. It's been a while since I last properly flew it. So fingers crossed, setup's not going too badly. Uh, required check trim is 7.2. So set trim 7.2, which is visible on the gauge there. There we go. And let's now ground, let's contact ground and get our clearance. Good evening, Nuremberg Ground. This is Hans Line 1515715 with information Lima requesting clearance to Frankfurt. 
Hansalein 1515 Information Lima ist korrekt. Vierte Destination Frankfurt via Ibaga to Mike's Departure Route. Flight Plan Route and it's a climb Flight Level 7 low and Squawk 6522. Hansalein 1515 is cleared to Destination Frankfurt via the Ibaga to Mike Departure. Initial climb will be 70, fly as filed, squawking 6522. Handelbein 1515, please take away. Thank you very much. Go standby. Uh, Squawk down there. 6522. Before I forget to aspect transpond this aeroplane, you have to set the switch. Uh, this one. Yes, that's the transponder. Cool. I'm going to arm the reverse thrust because I'm sure I'm going to forget that by the time I land. I always do. Uh, iPad panel, APU is available, so we will not press anything, I believe. Just turn off the slow power. Okay. Um. Hang on, <laughs> I've done it again. I've done this issue. I've done this thing once where I think I. So this has ground power. Yeah, everything stays online because what I've done is I've reset the FMS, but everything else acts. That's fine. So it's only a short little flight plan. Da 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 to uh, da da. Oops. Uh, Echo Delta Delta Foxtrot. It's not the end of the world. In about five seconds, plug it all in again. Uh, this is Ivel. Uh, for ATC Matthias, this is Ivao, not that similar, so alright. Uh, right, so it's Uh, 0104. And, uh, it's better, so yeah, so it's just how I'm turning off. Well, you don't press anything on the other panel, you just turn off the, the um, the, what do you call it, the, uh, ground. So just copy into the, the mess again, back down you go, cruising up to 24000 and execute that, VNAV, transition 5000, execute that, uh, where's the winds get set up again, the winds are there, uh, 161 at 19. So, the aircraft set up. Departure. Departure runway is one zero, and that was the embargo to mic departure. Let's keep that, and we are good to go. Switch nav source over to the FMS, which already is. Uh, yeah, apart from that, we're good to go. So uh, while we're on the ground, <clears throat> I'm going to send to the departure. So I'm going to actually look at the scenery in more detail. Because like I say, <clears throat> what we're getting you in Nuremberg is honestly one of the nicest looking sceneries I think I've seen in a long, long time. There you go. Even we've got sand numbers. So you've got uh, Alpha 24 was there to uh, CBU. Down, you've got 2 2. You've got a Germania flight to Hagada. 21, Turkish to Istanbul. And so you've got all different stands labelled out, all the shops, the buildings inside, all detailed. Passage walk around town, it's just honestly is one of the nicest scenarios I've seen in a long, long time. Uh, virtually the entire interior all built out as well. With the uh, upper walkway there. Jump onto the roof, you the uh, sky lighting. And to the main front. Main ride, populated with local buses and cars, taxis, police vehicles. All animated, of course. <laughs> Nothing static. It really, really is superb when I've done the scenery. Flags, all waving, all animated. I mean, this was since a couple of days. It's like I said, it's been developed by three developers, Captain Seven, Twenty Seven Palms, and Lion Sim, and then being published by Aerosoft on their behalf. And yeah, they've honestly done a, a superb, superb job of this. And honestly, <laughs> I recommend it already. And fair enough, Nuremberg, not airport I really paid too much attention to in the past. I'm going to fly for a lot more frequently now. I mean, there's, there's a few good routes to get out of here towards the UK as well. It really is absolutely sublime what they've done. I mean, fair enough, airside, maybe not quite as detailed as, uh, sorry, landside, not quite as detailed as airside, 
But even then, compared to other payway and freeway sceneries, I mean, again, you've got people walking outside, you've got a bus heading out towards the uh, main road now. Lifts upper levels and lower levels. There's a main end port entrance. Oh, the building this. The actual airside is much, much newer than this. Yeah, the place gets to the airports, to the aircraft, airside, just a whole lot better it gets. <laughs> this is version 1, this is pre-release, not even actually out yet. But honestly, <laughs> what they've done is sublime. So if we get ourselves, so this is it, so up and, this is the arrivals bit, arrivals up down to the end and then go through the border control or just go through to the exit. This is the departure lounge below a bit, we are at the very end. Presumably our passengers would be, I don't think they really bust them across to anyone's hand across, but you take them out to maybe out to five, down the jet bridge, or down the stairs even, uh, all the way around, out the front, and then just follow the path across towards the uh, aeroplane like that. Very, very detailed. Fair play, Airsoft, and uh, three guys behind it. Very, very good job. Right, AP's active. We are going to set the beacon light so that ground get ready for engine startup. We're going to request the tower for push and start and get going from there. Hans line 1515, sand 15 is ready for push and start. Hans line 1515, push back up, facing with. Pushback crew facing west for Hans Line 1515. So facing west. Facing west. That's going crazy. Oh, this is just the airport layout. So I'm fairly sure, well, preferably the east of the sand I'm using right. Let me just double check. The, uh, the airport layout to do it on that Atlanta since Atlanta is quite easy. Uh, so yeah, facing. I'm not facing west. Yeah, no, that is correct. I'm just being dumb dumb. So I need to push back so that nose is facing the left. So nose is there. See, so yeah, I need to pivot this one eighty. That's fine. Requested. This is ground. Stand by. Set the V1 rotating V2 bugs. Everything else is looking good. Close. Ground power cart removed. Remove the wheel chocks and the requider on parking brake. Let's get going, shall we? Uh, alternative, by the way, if we can't for some reason get into Frankfurt, we'll be Delta Lima. Alternative for us will be Dusseldorf tonight. So waiting, clear the um, ECAM messages, so anti-I set, push your to low, and probes to on. Uh, your dampener and spider on, so push down here. Uh, your dampener, your dampener, stabilizer trim, stabilizer trim, Mac trim, parking brake release, uh, spider ons and brake pressure is based on the engines, and from that is also based on the engines. The aircraft pushes back, we have cleared for engine start. Something's frozen, I don't like when it freezes. Nope, we're alive. <laughs> Heart attack there. Right, engine to start. Oh yeah, no, this, this, this happened in the past where kind of when you do some engine setup in the CIJ, it just pauses for a second. No, I've had it in the past. Okay, George, it's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world yet. Engine 2, start. Starts which is distinguished, so now it starts engine number one. Uh, Flywire, I use the experimental version, uh, Kai. Experimental version. 
Right, engine one starts. Okay, push back completed. Please set your parking brake. Parking brake sets. Parking brake set. Parking brake set. Lowering aircraft. Ground. You may disconnect. Okay, sir. Clear to disconnect. Pin has been removed. See you at the side. Have a good flight. Holding position, waiting for the visual. Thank you and goodbye. Cool. Push back completes. Which was released, looking good. Going to load flaps down to. That's fine. Right, load flaps down to 8 degrees. Just got to the legs page, that can be ignored. Engines are active and stable. APU comes off. Hacks come on. Uh, SOV is open, so should we press on the left hand button? That should hopefully close it. Plug brake on, reverses on, anti ice canning on, no smoking seat belts, just breaking seat fan is there. That just goes, no smudge lights. Screen fan on, there we go. All the messages complete, all messages removed, I don't need. That's oh, one last thing, actually, set the altitude to 36,000 feet, which should be able to climb. 6 or 7,000, which should climb was 7,000, level 70. Hans Line 1515 is ready to taxi. Hans Line 1515, taxi to Holding Point, Runway 1 via Mike 3, Juliet Foxtrot. Taxi to Hold Point 1, Runway 1 via Mike 3, Juliet Foxtrot for Hans Line at 1515. Taxi lights set. Parking brake released. And. A little bit of throttle getting aircraft rolling. Pretty much idle straight away as the aircraft will move on its own power. Now, the one thing I don't like about this airplane is the camera. I'm not quite centered. It senses the wings, it senses gravity. It's not really in position for the, uh, the nose. So, make a right onto mic 3 to grab the ground charts up on Navigraph. Uh, the parch, by the way, is going to be. Oh, so you might, so pin that. Taxi charts, airport taxi charts set. So, right onto. So, Mike 3, right onto Juliet, left onto Foxtrot. The end of the runway, high point one zero. Nose steering probably would be handy. Yeah, it's much more nimble now all of a sudden. <clears throat> Make sure that we have the tower fixture on standby. Remember, tower is 118305. On the line 1515, contact Nuremberg Tower 1186, the definite Contact the Nirvana Tower on 118, it's 305 for Hans Liner 1515. Thank you very much. We'll drift onto the, uh, <laughs> into the grass there. Back on the taxiway, there we go. Uh, it depends what time of day you also go on, uh, Kai. Not because any events running. Just hang on a bit of sim, uh, catch up a moment. So I found both networks. The AT and both networks always vary. Depends what time of day you go, peak time, quiet times. And you look right now on Ivalve, Scotland was pretty well uh, managed. England, not so much. Again, it comes down to really where people are at the moment. Yeah, I've got no issues with Ivalve. Never have. Hopefully, never will. Hello. Hello, the Nuremberg Tower. This is Hans Liner 1515, holding runway 10, registered parts. 
Ah, I'm on the pain in, dude. Welcome, dude. 1515, Nenweg Tower, good evening. Wind 4640, please land and not spam me one little tip for takeoff. Thank you for flying. Have a nice evening. Goodbye. Uh, Kip's take off from uh, Hans Liner 1515. Thank you very much. And thank you. <laughs> that was a horrible message. Uh, show lights active. That's all fine. Increased throttle. Centered runway. And let's get going. Cabin crew, seats of departure, please. Uh, welcome. Exactly how you doing? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chat. Hi, so dude. How are you? Uh, New Zealand route, hopefully again sooner. Dot aviation. By the A20 New York, and New Zealand colours. So, we can just about to finish. And we can commence with takeoff. I must admit, I've never actually watched, Su watched Sully or Fly to Sarah. Not films I've uh, sat down and watched. One day, I'm sure I'll cross with them one day. But not yet. Right, well, let's say three things just finish out because it's about to finish in 10 seconds. There's some little times are to stand on their way out very shortly. Right, support the engines up. Cabin is secure. Engines Ready for one, two, stable. Engines two, tug power. Ten speed live. Sixty knots. Eighty knots. Me one. Rotates. Oopsie, that's flat. It's not active. I'll do that now. <laughs> Oopsie. Let's see if I'm gear up. There you have it. That was a one night five one five. It's now uh, airborne. Going to reduce the power to climb. What I will do is now set up our autopilot. So, autopilot engage, speed set, going to climb at 250 knots. And altitude, we're going to. So, altitude set, and it is going to be. So the setting I need to press, I can never remember which one it is, because again, I'm trying to take off in a little while. Maybe it's just going to be hard to 50 knots and the aircraft climb on its own accord. That's up. Make sure the nav mode is set. Doesn't it? Uh, sand altimeter set. That's done over here. Just give it a second to catch up. Uh, the aircraft's pitching up pretty high on your approach there, David. Um, it means that your speed is too low. Check your speed, check your altitude. So that was, sorry, I wanted to do the sand altimeter. There we go. Very shortly, just a right hand turn on the mess hopefully no mode's active which is not yeah left that's fine if not aircraft will to climb fingers crossed will level off at seven thousand feet okay so long and radar is connected so we'll, we'll just continue to climb now to twenty four thousand
Got to remember the uh, CRJ, there's no auto shot in this aeroplane, so you are having to really micromanage this aeroplane's speed. Speed and throttle throughout the entire trip. Uh, I use the level up 77, uh, Aaron. Level up 77 comes with a tablet that you saw. It's based on the Zyber one, but use the skin to make it nicer, I guess. Uh, time right now for me, just coming to 9pm at the moment, uh, fireball, coming to 9pm, that's past you 10,000 feet, so you turn off the landing lights, we'll need to see what signs on a little bit longer, but those will come off very shortly as well, plenty for the logo lights today, it is middle of the day, therefore nothing for us to really showcase outside, increase speed to about 270 knots, maybe I'll just continue to climb out to its own speed, Fasten throughout the duration of the flight and do not form a line near the laboratory. Uh, Nuremberg ring. The Nuremberg ring is. Let's try to find it. There you are, right, that is local to where we're at. Nova Ring is maps. Actually, no, tell a lie, it's nowhere near us outside of Germany. <laughs> no, Nuremberg Ring is not in Nuremberg, different uh, place. Tell a lie, I thought it was. Um, yeah, it's close to our climb out. Once we finish the SID and the flight plan straighters out a little bit, I'll then turn off the seatbelt sign. Something about our approach instructions as well. As it stands, we have got Frankfurt approach online on radar, and we have got tower and ground and delivery. Let me speak to delivery. Uh, which link are you looking for there, Aaron? Sorry, which link are you looking for? Yeah, we'll talk to you about time now. Get past the rings back for the rest of the flight. Not that it's particularly long today, just, you know, be nice to them sometimes. As ever, most of the and scenery does look absolutely fantastic. And CRJ still uh, still picking its weights. It's only a tiny little aircraft, but the level of detail it I'm has. Then one five one five, the Trinicom one two two decimal eight. Thank you for flying. Have a nice evening. Goodbye. Off to Unicom one two two decimal eight to the Hans Liner one five one five. Thank you very much. Take care and good night. Bye bye. Right, one two two decimal eight. Unicorn for a little white and then off to Frankfurt to London Radar later. So, how are you guys doing in the chat today? How are you all doing? Hopefully, you're keeping well. Hope you're all doing pretty good this weekend. I'm working, of course, but that's not a massive problem. I don't mind what I will do actually. So, I work in the railway, but I do enjoy it. It's not the worst shop in the world. Passing through 18,000 feet, level 180, very short, we'll be cruising to 4. We're going to go past the standard altimeter as well, because that's going to flash the entire flight, which is no good. There goes that. And I, I hope fly one day, I hope fly, blah, blah, blah. I hope one day to fly the CRJ. Never been on one before. I've been on the Embraer 135145, same class of aircraft, but these, uh, but Brazilian. Never been on CRJ, I'm sure one day I'll actually fly the Tanzan City Line, if I do domestic hop across Germany, so it's not impossible for me, just need to figure out some time and place to do it, but hopefully one day to take aircraft off the list. Next flight I do will be on Thursday in real life, flying out to Paris via Amsterdam, so I'm flying the Boeing 7900 and then following on that with the, actually there might be one tomorrow that I need to figure out a plan, hopefully it will work out for me. Uh, yes, it sees um, IVAO, FVP, IVAO. So hopefully, maybe tomorrow I will see an Islander, we'll see, touch wood, everything goes to plan. Otherwise, next confirmed flight will be the 737-900 with KLM, followed by the Airbus A318 with Air France. Very excited for those two, going for the bigger 737 and then the smallest uh, A320. 
So 739, A318, and then in April, I'm off to Tunisia. So flying the A320 British Airways from Leon, uh, from London to Leon. Then I will fly the Boeing 737-600 with uh, Tunis Air. The 736 being the smallest of the NG 737s. Again, tiny aircraft I'm very excited for. Followed by a ATR-72 with Tunis Air Express. And then flying a Nouvelle Air A320 back to London Gatwick from uh, T Tunis. So I've never been out of Europe before. Tunisia, now my first stop. Never thought I'd be ever going to Tunisia, but hey-ho, it's not going to happen. And I am really, really excited for it. Very, very excited indeed. So, fingers crossed, both trips will go without any problems. But we'll see what happens tomorrow. Follow me on Instagram, you'll see more details about that there. I was hoping to do it today, but plans didn't quite work out. So, hopefully tomorrow, I'll get the chance to do it again. Right, welcome to Cruise. Once the aircraft levels off, you can start reaching the throttle and just have the aircraft come back out maybe around 200 or so knots. So you don't need to go too fast today, You've got plenty of time, not a high altitude flight. The expected arrival today for me. It's not quite sure, so I can also do the uh, screenshots I need to do. Uh, just turn that across, thank you very much. Uh, so the expected arrival for me is going to be the MPAX 3 Delta, so I'm going to put that into the FMS for second year all calculated. Arrival index. Uh, active runway at Frankfurt, also good to know. Latest Frankfurt, Frankfurt delivery. Uh, good luck to Daniel in Brazil on your ADC exam, very good. Um, right, so our runway is 07 left or right. We've got right on the flight plan, so we'll plug in IS 07 right for now. I can just look at the whereby. What are they at? Crofts currently in doing the approach. You landed on the. Left, you landed, so departing. And so that's how I found the right, oh, sorry, on the left, so yeah, I probably just got the left end, so I just your left. Um, what's the approach was? It was the impacts, wasn't it? Yes, impacts through Delta. That one. Execute that. Woo! <laughs> that's added a few waypoints. Um, Lepsa. Yeah, we'll going to skip a few of those, I think. Spessa. That in this continuity. Hopefully, that's not going to be better twice. Let's do that. So there we go. Much cleaner. So, Spessa, and then start of descent down the start. Then across over speeding. Why? Because I've got the throttles. Again, manual throttle aircraft. Pay special attention to your speed. So, the aircraft actually has given us a calculated descent already, which was appreciated. So, be sure to use that as a guideline. We'll do here RTOD. Alright, increase throttle. Let's get this aircraft uh, balanced out for about 300 knots of cruise. Air speed indicated Mach 0.71. Right, I'll do. You can expect ILS zero. Ah, okay. Thanks for aviation. <laughs> it's appreciated. Right. Uh, so it expects ILS zero seven center. Followed the MPAD three. Uh, All right. So we're making the left hand turn out at Ebarga. Looking really good from the front at the moment. Yeah, that's for the aircraft itself, like I say. No complaints about the performance. The aircraft seems to be doing alright. It's just everything else around it that's gone a bit uh, pear shaped sometimes. But I can't fuss, I can't fuss. The aircraft's doing its job and doing it alright. Uh, if I quickly go to my index to redo my performance. 24,000 sets, 8300 sets, execute VNAV 
5,000. I wish that's our approach is also set to 5,000. And the winds were 161 at 19. Perfect. So there could be. We can reset our approach now so that we thought we were going to we have to land down the 25 centre. Altitude is correct, so it will give us the altitude on the way down. So follow that as a guideline. We will continue the rest of our flights. Just going to give you an updated tracking link as well. So if we should follow our flights on the IVA web, you can do so via the link just going in now. Uh, we might fly the A339 next. Um, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. We'll do kind of well. Next aircraft will fly long haul is 787. A330 is trying to move to a medium. Uh, when I last streamed on the commuter, uh, again, we'll try and do some trains in London commuters again soon. In fact, I was on the Brighton mainline today, out of um, Preston Park. In fact, I went to Brighton on the outbound, and in return, went to Preston Park to uh, Sherman Sea. So I was in that area earlier on. It's a nice little area. Um, crash desktop, most likely to sim, uh, Lucas, most likely to sim. If you're on YouTube and this has been post-edited, hello, nothing happened. <laughs> uh, passage out of fashion, let's actually go through the cabin, shall we? So who's on board the aircraft, who's on our flights today? Any names recognised, give us a shout, and we'll have the stats. As it stands, only 80, 80 people on board. I don't think we'll get too much in the way of passengers. Yeah, none I recognise today. Mostly full house, apart from a few empty seats lost around. But no one really majors to uh, shout on my end. Welcome, Stephen. How are you doing? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chat. How are you today, dude? Audio still playing this time, so there's no uh, no risk of some crap. It's, it's when the audio stops. When you stop hearing sound, that's when you know you've got a problem. <laughs> the sound stops, the fun ends. So top percent. Like I say, you need something about doing that soon. Actually, point of Volanta. The estimate top percent. Something about here. Expect TD. There soon. So get to spares out, make a round turn, rip coot, and it's time to send around rip coot. One thousand three minutes target to descent rates. Uh, that should be alright. Yeah, for what it's worth, CRJ isn't a bad form by any means. It ain't your fault. That the platform's a bit buggy sometimes. It really isn't. That was a Windows error sound. Please be nothing serious. <laughs> Gonna, it's giving me a heart attack one day, it really is. Um, do you know why you find Gatwick space between the final approach waypoints? Uh, digital students use MTDU as uh, so audio isolation. Um, if there's discontinuity, they're potentially just kind of how the final waypoints align to one another. It's no biggie, just clear discontinuity. It just depends on how, kind of. Yeah, it just depends on the approach, kind of how it connects to the, um, to the localizer. It's not the end of the world. Uh, Jackson, thank you for the, uh, the one pound there. Much appreciated. Thank you very, very much. You're a superstar. Always appreciate the donations. Always appreciated. So yes, thank you very much for the uh, for that. Yeah, I never beg for donations. Never always ask. It's down to you, really. If you're willing to do it, then that's uh, always appreciated. Anything I do get goes back to the channel. I actually recently. Uh, 
check on that and yeah I think about 90% of what I've got from YouTube income has gone back into YouTube content hardware and uh, games and sims and add-ons so so far so good on that regard so far so good but again always appreciate the donations you guys are fantastic Uh, score 1000 would be nice. I'll get that on to you now. There you go. So we are going to send down to an altitude of... Grab that graph quickly. Grab the approach charts, um, so MP3 Delta. Pin that. Approach charts, runway 07 center. Pin that. Flight slope intercepts at 4000. Altitude, I'm going to drop down to 4000 feet. And then the vertical speed. Got down to a rate of 1,600 feet, um, 1,200 feet initially, and we can always increase it later on. Going to decrease throttle, not all the way, I don't think, don't need to do it just yet. But enough to stop the speed from increasing as we start our descents. Half an hour to face arrival, so we're looking pretty good for the time in there. And one more thing I want to do as well, but I cannot remember. Speech passengers. Hello ladies and gentlemen, a quick little update from the flight deck. We've just started our descent into Frankfurt and should be landing in the next half an hour, probably soon up. Um, some clouds in the area for you at the moment, but nothing too bad. In terms of temperature, we are looking at around uh, 4 degrees, sorry about that, 6 degrees centigrade at the moment. With no rain reported at the moment. Uh, landing on the Roma 07 side, so we'll need to fly around the airport. But hopefully we'll be at sand within the next half hour. Well, we'll despite the aircraft and send you into the terminal. Once again, thank you for having the thumbs up, and we hope you enjoy the rest of our flight so far. Thank you. Let's catch up with the. Uh, there we go. Okay, right now let's him catch up. So hopefully, yeah, quite a sharp. Um, Left hand turn now, the guys. So, what we probably will do is we get to the Delta Bravo Max. Let me just do it now, probably be easier for me. So, runway heading on the other side, so 25 center, heading course 247. So, set heading to 247. Essentially, instead of just flying kind of towards the runway, which will then kind of cut across all the traffic in the area, I'd much rather kind of fly power to the runway and give control enough In fact, I oh, know, that's fine, sorry. No, you fly beyond the airport, make a left, and then into. Okay, no, so ignore me. The way that never graph showed it, back to front. So, all this is showing is that we kind of cut across the traffic, make a sharp turn, and then into the fire slope. In reality, we kind of fly parallel. Then make the sharp turn, then find the fire slope. So, yeah, no, I'm just going to plant the source slightly wrong. We're okay. Uh, would you choose a Boeing jet or an Airbus uh, corporate jet? Depends which I. If, if I owned it, then probably Airbus is a bit cheaper to operate. If it was going to be a company owned aircraft, then probably the Boeing because it's cheaper than you to buy it. And then I can see where I go from there. Uh, do you know what the green. Dashed uh, IFR route means green dashed. I mean, a, mm, oh, that might be a course. If you're setting your um, approach chart, that might be a course. Speaking of which, 
Let's say I approach. So runway two five center. Sorry, zero seven center. Will be a frequency of one one zero four five five. Switch. Same for you. One one zero five five. And will it reset? Fair enough. Um, course. Course is zero six six. So do the nine bit, which is just doing the parts like this easier. Um, right. So switch over to the nav source. Localizer one. Zero six six on the course. You know, channel, are you? Okay, that's fine. Get myself done. Um, right, airplane, you find this heading because you're a good boy. Uh, one, change the course heading. Oh, that's handy. Yeah, sure. Six six is off, is off the mark. Uh, what was the opposite again? To Oops, I accidentally pressed the uh, landing gear there. Well, mouse wheel just landing gear lever. I'm not about to assume I've never been, never enjoyed the exact and summit's uh, markings. Um, right. Course 25 centre. Two four seven. So if I make sure the rear of it two four seven. I mean, that'll be correct when we then get onto the localizer. Back to nav mode to go. What you can do is I'm going to increase our center rate slightly. And decrease our throttle further. See those hands come on. Passage back to our seats. Set the altimeter to. Uh, it's the Delta transition if you want. Thank you very much. I'll be sure to uh, let in mind. Um, so, Treasury 5000, what's the altimeter now? Altimeter 1032. I'm going to take a copy of the slide. Altimeter 1032. Very shortly, we'll spot the airport to our left hand side. There it is, it's Frankfurt. Just in a minute. There's the uh, Frankfurt Stadium down below as well. Beautiful view of the uh, the Rhine in front of us. Stunning river that. Performance. Um, so if we go over to my FMS, go to uh, index, uh, flight plan, performance. Nope, tried to do it there. Don't need uh, to have it on this case. Right, uh, landing speeds. Uh, so VRF139 sets. Yeah, VRF139, we should use that for our approach. Oh, 
one from 12,000 feet. Now I just thought now to get the aircraft below to 50 knots. Aircraft uh, localizer established, well connected, so actually very shortly. We're getting there. We are slowly getting there. 1,000 feet, no G7, right down to 1,500 feet per minute. Come on, little Sledge, you've done a good job so far. Are we just yet? On to mines. Cabin crew, 10 minutes to landing. We have begun our final descent into Frankfurt. Flight attendants will be passing through the cabin. 1,000, and that's on. Please ensure tray tables are stowed and seats are in the full upright position. Please also store any carry on items either in the seat back pocket or under the seat. I've got the ground charts ready to go. And then stand charts, uh, get these ones open as well. Get rid of you. I need that open for now. Let's fly direct to Lumpo, which we should get a left hand turn in a little bit earlier, I guess. Let's get that. Nope, okay, fair enough, fine. Have it your way. Heading mode select. Heading 115, switching that source over to the localizer. As soon as we're ready to intercept the slope, we'll be able to do that. That's one. Yeah, get a bit too speedy, that's fine. Uh, yes, what's good there, uh, Winter Splash? Again, just does, does take it some practice, especially with the manual throttle. But I do really enjoy it. I do really enjoy it. It's definitely worth a flight. Flicking something a bit more hands on. And the Aerosoft, you do, you do a lot worse than the Aerosoft, CRJ. Let's have a the replay. This will definitely freeze for a second. Okay, it's left hand turn now. Left hand turn gets us established onto the localizer. Eight. Keep landing flaps, adjusting our speeds to get down. Um, I've not tried SLC uh, Aviation Geek, but I do much prefer uh, Pack X based on kind of how they both operate. Pack X I find more realistic from the uh, pilot's perspective. Uh, the other part's not difficult to use TKC. You just also learn how to use it. Make sure you've got the um, what do you call it? The how much the localizer approach mode sets? Yeah, just want to make sure that you know how to activate the um, localizers and fl the flight management modes. It's not a bad aircraft overall. I say it does take some practice, but most aircraft do. Hopefully in the moment now the aircraft should make a right hand turn and get itself onto the localizer. There we go. And as soon as it crosses the 4,000 feet onto the glide slope, it's ready to land. So contact the small tower 119905. Nice 
degrees, 30 degrees of flaps on landing. There we go, across established dome rate to 7 cent up. Sorry, 0, 07 cent up. Give it a minute to catch up. So the near approach speed is 139 knots. Hello there, Frankfurt Tower. This is Hans Liner 1515, established localizer at 07 Center. Hans Line 1515, Frankfurt Tower, good. Continue approach, Hanway 07 Center, one arrival ahead, Hanway 07 Rive. Uh, continue approach, we have an arrival on 07 Center, 07 Right, continue 07 Center. Alright, so now we're entering the glide slope, aircraft will start descending, pull the glide slope down, and we'll be getting aircraft into its uh, land configuration, so flaps 30. Argentina 1079, uh, turn right heading 010. Keep the aircraft at 139-ish knots. Cabin crew, please take your seats for landing. Argentina 1079, uh, negative, right heading 010. So, likewise active, glide slip active, aircraft starts its descent. Uh, France was his nation, did they? <sighs> fair enough. <laughs> no, fair play, France. They had a strong team this year. Very well indeed. Down. Antoine Alpha Quebec, uh, we are ready for push and start. Argentina 1079, right heading 060. Uh, welcome, Novisim, how are you doing? Welcome, gentlemen, chat. Uh, not too bad myself, how are you today, dude? Hope you're here to uh, enjoy yourself. Antoine Alpha Quebec, we are ready for push and start. Let's make an approach on the approved. other one at the moment. The answer is. Uh, interesting. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, so there's a approach coming in to land very shortly now. They're within seconds of touchdown. And then right behind them, and behind the few aircraft as well, also in the inbound approach. Maybe DC 6 apparently. That's what they're on the landing as well. Argentina 1079. Uh, uh, The line one five one five wind zero four zero degrees one four north city land zero seven center break break November six Papa Mike on frequency. November six Papa Mike uh, turn left head uh, left heading left turn three five zero degrees. Got say the wing these out here absolutely fantastic. Uh, Papa Mike yes. Traffic. Inside, uh, case of wind, going now left and then uh, on a second approach for either side. November, top up, Mike, Roger. Hans Line 1515, clear to land 07 center. So, yeah, 40 knot headwind, not looking too bad for us at the moment. So, you can see the aircraft is starting waving a little bit. Winds are doing a number on the airplane. Continue, Mike. Mike 8, hold your 07 center. Uh, Mike, Sim crashed, Mike, um, on lift. Not the flight, the Sim crashed. Yeah, we're on a high speed again, so bring back the throttle. One 
1,000. Sail approach. Let's pilot off, I'll make a trot. November 6th, Papa Mike, score 7001 for you, please. 7 uh, so to Sarah. Yeah. Uh, family, uh, family, uh, uh, family uh, 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 number one. Gusty today. Los Angeles 2, Mike Yankee, ready to copy IFR clearance? Go! So, Mike Yankee cleared San Francisco, Maroon, uh, Nana Delta, departure route, flight and route, runway 07 center, and it's climb 5000 feet, score 3036. Throttle. Hey, to San Francisco, Baruna Nana Delta, climbing 5000 feet. Okay. Three zero, three six. Request start up. 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 Argentina 1079R, wind 040 degrees, 1 for north, city land 07 right, traffic on 07 center, support of the aid. APU, SOV open bytes, and APU, stops. Hans line 1515 has a vacated runway. Hans line 1515, welcome to France, if you have any preferred data stand. Uh, negative to stick me wherever you want, Hans Lamar 515. Uh, 1515, Roger, then continue November 8, November to position Fox Trot uh, 156. Continue November 8 to November for position Fox Trot 156, Hans Line 1515. Right. Quebec, we are ready for taxi. So November 8th. Uh, Taxi by November 5th, Lima, uh, Lima to zero. November, was, the answer is, that's November 8th, isn't it? Yes, November 8th. Taxi on Lima to zero, seven center, we are over five, Lima. So right now, uh, we Lima are here. November 8th, continue November. The position, Foxtrot, one, five, six. A's, B's, B's, E's. Uh, six, seven, eight. So I need the west, west parking sands. Uh, uh, Fox after Lima five, uh, Lima November four to get Bravo for eight. Uh, two, November eight. Uh, Lima 5, Lima and Lima. Uh, bravo for 8 for you. November 8. I see Alphas. I see Bravos. Bravo for 8 by uh, November 8. November 8th, November. Foxtrot. Whenever the power go, the Rhino Pierce gets Charlie Info India on board request that I've been the destination of Tuna. Right now, Pierre Scatali, uh, Springfield Tower, number one for clearance. I must be going blind. Yeah, France 6-2, ready for pushing start. Yeah, France 6-2, bravo, push back up. So we're right here right now, in section for November. Push back up, uh, France 6-2, bravo, France. Look, France will go back in, request push back. Los Angeles to Mike Yankee, push approved. Push back approved, Los Angeles to Mike. 
Uh, Hansline 1515, I must be going blind. Whereabouts is Foxtrot uh, 156? Ah, uh, Hansline 1515, uh, that was my bad. Uh, left November to position Victor 156. Ah, okay. Uh, Roger that, Victor 156 left November, Hansline 1515. Right, I'm not going crazy. <laughs> 156, so we're going to. Los Angeles to Mike Yankee, left traffic. That was 8321 Neo, passing right to left, then push back and forward. Right. 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 I was not going crazy. <laughs> Argentina 1079R crossing a proof thereafter Lima. Oh, so this is right here. Lima. That's 156. November 6, Papa Mike, Frankfurt Tower, Bruder, Wind zero, uh, 2 zero degrees, 1 1 0 clear, touch and go, zero 07 right, after touch and go, follow Position. traffic pattern, reversion, Pugrex follow right set. traffic pattern, runway 07 so right. We've got an uh, France taxi, very nice. Zero 07 right, let's go. And AP is available. Uh, Engines. Off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Frankfurt. The lights are right now, it's 11 p.m. It's temperature, 8 degrees centigrade, with clouds, Thank you for flying with the Tarnsa, if you enjoyed your flight models today, and we hope to see you again in the very near future. Cabin crew, does not lose a cross-check please, thank you for flying with us. It's cabin. Going to get to ramp high units. Available, fine. AP comes off. As soon as the bus has arrived, it's in Zulu 3 to in front of you, uh, towards you to Bravo uh, 26, hold position when... Um, so, not bad flight overall, I'm going to be shaking your pilot still, and again that's down to my own failures of the aircrafts. As ever, so the CRJ, not a bad little aircraft this, not a bad little aircraft. Have got replay as well, so don't go enjoy just yet. We will... Slow bring things to an end now. So, so go back to the tower, just get from my vault, and then go from there. Lufthansa to Mike Yankee, Frankfurt Tower, go ahead. Lufthansa to Mike Yankee, we start now with the AM City Joe failure. Could you give us the current with the information of Frankfurt, please? Lufthansa to Mike Yankee, no problem. So quite busy, very busy, Frankfurt, even this time of night. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, Pretty much third part as well. Very busy. 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 Yeah, thank you very much. And again, thank you for the uh, patience too, and I'll see you a bit haywire. In flight reports, let's have a look. So, Lufthansa 1515, Sitting 100 from Nuremberg to Frankfurt, 42 minute flight time, plan departure 59, 55. Arrival a little bit off, but again, that's just a sim. 80 passengers, no one satisfaction, no rate 108, and the flight time 57 minutes. Yes, extreme flight conditions, we're aware of that, so that's off landing. 
otherwise we can meet with Bregan in the cabin. If you wish to look at the heart report in more detail, feel free to do so via the link I'm about to drop in the chats. There's your reports. This next might be a uh, and all that's left for us to do is to go through the replay. So let's close the door because again, the door should say open if you don't do that properly. So that looks closed. Through the chocks. Uh, in fact, what I will do is I'll be naughty and get the engine to start first. Also, the doors. Right, so we play, shall we? So CRJ Frankfurt, spawn it on final approach. We'll do both wing views, cover exterior views, and then kind of take it from there. But yeah, the replay CRJ is always really, really good. A little bit laggy to kind of load, but once it gets going, some of the best views I've had in the sim and replays are from the uh, CRJ. Happy though, not with the uh, stick shaker. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Not bad, that scenery. As you're approaching the Frankfurt, it's absolutely beautiful. So right inside, looking down towards the city centre below. Nice and steady approach. A little bit windy and gusty at times, but... All important bets. That's uh, pretty good. So that's looking down towards um, Russell's time on mine. as well, there we go. Yeah, it's a nice steady approach. And the trees, the buildings, the ground just looks so so good the sim. So so good. <laughs> I'm sure if anyone's been to Frankfurt in real life, same to the sim that's looking out the window really. Won't we take a manual control of the aircrafts? It's actually a little more wavy, I guess, in terms of control and handling, but it's not much difference. Make down below, which is a very good spot to uh, plane spot and sunbathe. Presuming it's a public park, of course, not a quarry or a mine. Highway down below. Nice and steady. Didn't need you to go all out with touchdown, amazing ha ha. Great touchdown. So you made it interesting. <laughs> but as its moments sometimes, but as have its moments. But thank you, Cal, much appreciated. There you go, not a bad landing that. Not a bad landing. Do the same for the left hand side now, just looking towards the um Romo 27 left as well as some of the more industrial parts of Frankfurt. Don't sink. And cargo of course. Is it the whole time don't sink? The answer Five. is don't sink. Probably. Don't sink. Some catch up. So 
do it towards CHA, but yeah, it does freeze quite a bit. Uh, landing monitor, um, Fly Life Studio, uh, Najib, Fly Life Studio, used for landing rates. Final and forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Touchdown was a hundred feet, hundred eleven feet per minute, wasn't it? Hundred and ten, hundred eleven. So yeah, Conta got it really. A little bit having the rudder, but other than that, pretty, pretty well done. Uh, so doesn't really have much in the way of the tail view, but we can do a landing gear view. So we move the camera over to the wheels. Enjoy approach from the belly of our plane. There's the actual Frankfurt City Centre in the background. Nice and gentle. Okay, there's a tiny bit of a flight there, but that was smooth. Actually, the nose of the touch wasn't too bad either. It was just kind of that rudder and that rudder motion at the same time. Yeah, the rudder. Okay, a bit harsh on the rudder. I'll uh, I'll loosen up a little bit on that. But everything else, not uh, too bad actually. I'll get a drink hand to disconnect. If I can please. Ah, if I stop menu, so I can't get a drink hand. Oh, okay. okay. Can't get a drink hand to disconnect, so. Uh, do one more view, I guess, from the side of the aeroplane, and it will bring things to an end. It's not a bad approach overall. So I can't do it on my side view, I'm afraid, unless I can figure out which key command it is to get there. Uh, so there's, there's a way you can do it. You can kind of get it on the runway itself, but so now the one time I actually want the runway view it doesn't actually appear anymore. Limiting thing. Okay, <laughs> cross side view it says. A short final then. Nice to study. Need for the touchdown. So, uh, yeah. Not bad, that. Not bad at all. Um, so, yeah, that was the Aerosoft Nuremberg, that, which is coming out, I think it's 23rd of March comes out, so do keep an eye out for that. It's a very, very good scenery, highly recommended. Absolutely love it, just again, the animated passengers, the details there, slide, just really, really good airport to fly from. I'll be sure to showcase it again soon. Um, yeah, that's the Aerosoft CRJ. Uh, good flight overall. Okay, flight hiccups get, sorry, sim hiccups, that always happens, but what can you say? Stability in the airplane, I wouldn't mind seeing an update for at some point soon, uh, Aerosoft if you're watching. Other than that, uh, yeah, very, very happy indeed. So back in tomorrow, some more flights in action, hopefully. Until then, you guys take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon for some more flights in action. Take care, have a good one, and bye-bye. Have a good night, enjoy your weekends.